Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Fun Time Gamer Night Night here, aka Fun Time SFM. Yeah, that's right. I'm adding Fun Time SFM to my name because I'm doing some SFM videos. Basically, I'm doing some SFM animation, but today we'll be doing something special. I'm doing an SFM tutorial. So today, SFM tutorial is some. Wait, okay, I. Actually, let me go to my Instagram. Anyway, I put a, actually I've been posting something on Instagram on my story. It said that I, okay, I put a story say it's this asking people a question like, should I make should I make an should I make a tutorial? Let me go find it. Let me go find it. Um, yeah, here it is. How to make like. To make a tutorial on how to make my OC, and they all say yes, they sh I should do it. So here we are on social media animation. Okay, I'm gonna name this one tutorial. <laughs> anyway, this doesn't really matter. The map and the thing doesn't matter. Some people know this already. Just and I don't know. So let's. No, no, I'm gonna go to the draft two map that I've been working on. That's pretty much. It's what anyway. The map going takes a while. Sometimes we're not responding, but then they will, they will respond. They will just, well, well, they event they eventually low, and this screen will stop. Will stop showing. <sighs> well, when I'm recording, this this will, will take a bit longer. I don't know. Don't ask me any question about that. I don't even know. Uh. Okay, there you go. Your nice loaded. <sighs> okay. Okay, you can't see anything, just turn on the light. And freaking out, it doesn't... Oh, there we go. Let me get a new camera. Okay, let's go to the show stage so I can show everything. Oh, Jesus, lagging shit. So anyway, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna spawn a camera. I'm gonna spawn one. I'm gonna switch this to the second camera. So I can post... So I can just... Edit, edit this one. Let me just go to here and let's control the control the camera. Okay, we have our camera. Everything's ready. Yeah, everything's ready. So, okay, people want me. How do I make my OC? Like I don't know my Spring Bonnie OC. So it's very simple. Just grab a Spring Bonnie model. Just do it. Okay, you pay close attention. If you want to know how to make my OC, my Spring Bonnie version of it, mm. I'll link the I'll link the model in the description, so you guys can download it and make yourself. Okay, here is the no this here's the Spring Bonnie that I use for my OC. As obvious, everyone everyone, know, everyone knows already. Okay, let's just position it to the ground. Okay. People, okay, people try to make my OC, but then they don't know how some tap, I don't know. Okay, we got my Spring Bonnie OC, okay. The next thing is the hat that you guys remember, you guys see me, my OC, there's, there's always a hat on top of my, on top of my OC's head. Uh, that was Fun Time Freddy's hat. Okay, Fun Time Freddy, uh, yeah, there's like, I do a, Downloaded two version of it. Let me let me let me get it. She's lagging. Okay, fun time Freddy. This is the adventure version of it. But do not get the Scott version. This this one. Like if you if you can zoom in, you can see this. Do not get this. Because this is huge. We just need the normal size so we get this one. So we Spawn it in. Okay, here, here it is. Okay, 
to get the hat onto my OC to on to get the hat to spring Bonnie's head, I basically just put Freddy over him until I put I position the hat. Yeah, you can see you can see you can see the purple hat. I don't know, it's quite a bit weird. This is not FNAF shipping, okay? This is just a tutorial. Okay. I got the hat. I need to send. I always like to make the hat a bit forward so I can show. There we go. Okay. This part you need to pay a close attention. If you move, if you never glue the hat onto to the model and move right away, the hat will just go with it. So here is how. So here is how you do it. So okay. Let me just position this hat. Okay. So. If, okay, go and go to Fans and Freddy. Go to Unknown. Just click. If you see, okay, go on the bottom. You see a button called Bips Hat. That's the hat that attached to Fans and Freddy. Okay, from here you need. Okay, I want you to drag the head. Click on Spring Body. Go to Body. Drag head all the way down to the hat. The head all the way to the hat. That will lock it in place. So when I tr when I move this away, like I move Funtime Freddy away, the hat will stay to my OC. Those hats stay there. Okay, now we don't need Funtime Freddy. Just put it on hidden and the hat. Okay, if you do this correctly, move the head. Move the head. The hat will be will be there. Like yeah, like that. Okay, next is the eyes. You never can tell my iconic eye. The iconic, the iconic night. So okay, this is a this is this one will be the simple one. So you just need to go underneath unknown on spring morning, and I remove the and then click on the right eye and just drag it away, drag it away. So that is eyeless. Okay, then you need nightmare spring body model for the eyes. If I Okay, if I go to model, I'll just link the model in the description. So you need Nightmare Spring Bonnie because, wow, well, look at the eyes. It's the same with my with my OC. That's what that's what it is. Okay, so you need to uh, wait. Hold on a moment. Okay, so let's just move Spring Nightmare Spring Bonnie beside Spring Bonnie. Okay, there's oh, what the hell? Why is my source been making it lagging? Jesus Christ. Sorry guys, if you want if you are uh, experiencing if uh, this is literally why I if I I use OBS recorder, this happens. Just lag the shit out of me. So anyways, okay, go this is wait. Grab the right eye on my main spring bonnie. Position take it out, position into spring bonnie. Yeah, that's what I do. Ah, lags, 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 lags. Ah, I'm literally, I'm literally pissed because of the, because of the freaking lag. God damn it, I got, I got notification all the day. I'm literally lying so much, I can't. Jesus Christ, what the hell, my... I just need to go... Let me just get my setting ready, because Jesus... Ah, anyway, that is just... Jesus Christ. Output. Yeah, or video Brit. Uh, uh, this is... Okay, I think this will this will be good. Okay, so let's get back to continue. Okay, go. To, okay, just position the eye into the socket. Yeah, that's literally that's literally what you need to do if you want the eye to be there. That's how my O. That's how my O. C. is supposed to be. 
Okay, if the eyes are a bit sideways, just use the rotate tool and just, well, ro just rotate it. So just make sure it's literally like, there we go. So here, well, basically it is the same as the other one. So you just grab, just strike the spring on the head and drag to the right eye. And you move Snipe and Spring Bonnie away. The hat, the eye will stay inside the socket. Same with the hat. It's the same with the hat. Now it's time for the other one, the nightmare endoskeleton hand. Like you know, the nightmare endoskeleton hand behind my model. Just attach. It's like to this, like like three, like it's like four hands. Like, right? but then the other two are literally nightmare. So I will just link the so I'm gonna get the nightmare endo. But then when you, when I use the nightmare endo, I notice the endo is pretty small, and the hand is pretty small. So you can tell this is. So if you want to resize it, let me just move that. Let me move the endo skeleton. Oh, behind. Okay, if you want to resize this hand, just go to arms. Upper hands. Okay, and then right click on right click on the arm, upper arms, and then there's a button called Add Scale Control to Transform. That allow that is the scale mod. That's the scale to scale the hand. As you can see, what the hand is is scaling over here. Yeah, um, my. Okay. Okay. I think this. I think this is a good size for the hand. Then just go back to the upper hands and just drag this thing. Uh, this is literally. I don't know if the hand is too big, you can resize it still when it's still attached to the model. Okay, here. Maybe I'll pose. I'll pose it. This is literally. This is literally like I don't know. The nightmare. I'm like posing the nightmare hand like a spider. Like literally, like a spider. I don't. I don't know how to say. It. I don't even know how how to explain this. Okay, that's how, okay. I got the nightmare hand into here. Yeah, that's literally that's literally how it works. But if you not have if you don't want the connection to be visible, just move in there. Move, yeah, in there. And okay, attach the hand. Attach the hand to is very simple. But this time you need to drag the spine. The spine is literal is the body of the of the model, so you grab the spine, and go to the upper hands, and they would and then do this one would just anyway the nightmare hand would just be onto the body like right, on on the body, not okay rinse and repeat with the other hand the other one. Just remember add scale tool if it's too if, if the hand is too small. Go there. Yeah. Okay, then go back to the upper arm at the right arm. <laughs> okay. Just going to rip. Just move it in there. <sighs> He's spread. Actually, this is literally how I done my OC. Maybe I video tutorial how 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 to literally do stuff on SFM. People are literally like asking tutorial. Hey, how how to do this? How to do that? Got the hand. Okay. Grab the spine. Go to upper hand, right arm. Okay. Get rid get rid of the endoskeleton. The arm will just stay there, just there. Oh. But then when you want to pose it, you can't get, you not, okay, the thing is, do not make this hidden. If you want, literally want to move the hand, and this thing is hidden, you can't control the nightmare hand. You need to leave this visible in order to control. If you leave it, if you go to, if you make it hidden, there's no way you can control the arm. So basically, yeah. But, okay. The, 
If you want to see the hidden control, right click over here and the button called show hidden control. This one will show you the hidden the hidden stuff that you, that you need. Okay, I'm not going to turn it that. Okay, let's have some fun with the, with the model. Okay, let's let's just start with the finger because and why not? Why not just? Oops. Uh, this might take this. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh yeah. One more thing. If you want to attach like I don't know weapons into into your into your model. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna show you how how you do it. Is is literally is very simple. Is literally like the I don't know how to attach the bo the body parts into into another model. Yeah. Okay, let's done. Let's stop that for a moment. Let's just okay. Let's get let's get ourselves a weapon. I'm gonna go for the crescent rose. The scythe, that's basically the scythe. Oh Jesus, I've forgotten it's huge. Yeah, the base actually. You can resize the weapon also, just need to scale the transform and scale it down. Okay. Got a okay, we got the weapon ready. So press Okay, before you do that, before you attach to it, let's just position it so people, so we can, I don't know, well, basically, just attach this, attach this first, then we connect, connect this, like, position, position the weapons first, that's the main thing, you don't want any, some, any mistakes on, on, on the thing, let's just rotate this. I don't know why I like I like the scythe. I've been looking for this scythe for quite long already. When I found I finally found it. I'm using this for my another animation. He, oh yeah, spoiler alert! I'm, the other animation is still in the making and yeah, it's still not ready yet. So I'm really sorry if you guys you know I keep saying, hey, where is the where is the next animation? Ugh, you guys patient because. I'm really very, I'm very, 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 very busy. Let's just. Okay, I already got the thing. I got the finger ready. Body. But anyways, uh, let's just let's just put the, the side in here. <sighs> yeah, scythe. Okay, now it's time for the attaching part. But okay, the scythe you need to to drag the arm to the side to the side root transform. Yeah. Okay. Just select the arm. Okay, the scythe is on the left arm. But then this need extra step. You need to you need to attach this, like the upper arm, forearm, and hands. To the root, to this root transform. Okay, this is why if you didn't attach them all, like I don't know, you attach upper arm and forearm, but didn't attach the hand, you can move. You can move. The, if you move upper arm and forearm, the scythe will move with it. But moving the hand that is not attached to it, the scythe will not move, and then it will just stay there. If that will mess up the thing, so you need to attach both all three of them to the hand and arm. So if I, if I move this, let the side move. Forearm, yeah, it moves. And the hand, yeah, it moves. It's, ba it's basically like that. So this is, I hope this answered your questions, like how I make OC, uh, my OC. So anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial video, how to make, how to make my own OC. Like showing how I how I make my OC over here, like literally, it's pretty good. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Peace out, everyone.